What's going on, guys? It's Chris in the captain's quarters. Um, I bought another Oktoberfest beer. I think we really need to discuss, you know, is it really or should it actually be classed as an Oktoberfest beer? Um, yeah, I think we should talk about it. Let's get into it. What's going on, you handsome people? Bow for YouTube. It's obviously Chris in the captain's quarters. So, yeah, I've gone out and I've bought myself. Um, oh, God. I'm dropping the bottle opener. Um, up here, up here. Come on, I'm here. Hello. You can see the mess of the floor. Bosh, there we go. Um, yeah, needs to hoover, I agree. But I've gone out and bought myself one of the not big six Oktoberfest beers. And the reason I've done it is I actually quite like it. Um, even when it's even not as an Oktoberfest beer. It's actually just a really nice beer and I really enjoy it. Now, I am still uh, supping from the last video. So uh, yes, my uh, taste buds may be slightly off and you may tell me I may have had one or too many two beers to uh, continue reviewing, but they... That's 6% of that. But we must continue. And um, please don't scan my QR code. Please don't. Yeah, so, here she is. So anyone who's anyone who's been watching the beer groups know that Aldi did recently do what they usually do every year and they bring in some Oktoberfest beers. Still waiting for Little to bring in the box, but they haven't. So, it is what it is. So, here she is, it's the Erdringer. Um, probably isn't considered an Oktoberfest beer in all honesty, um, but they brew an Oktoberfest version of it um, and she is brewed in Germany and it is brewed in Bavaria so you know you're going to get a fairly decent beer anyway regardless of it not being on the um, excuse me under the big six uh, for the big six check the video link somewhere I should have drunk that so quick I've got right indigestion now um, but yeah um, there's the Erdringer what we're going to do is we're going to pop her open We'll have a chat about it and yeah, we'll see it. Now, if I'm getting any better at this video editing, hopefully this should be in slow motion when she goes. Hopefully, oh, hopefully, I don't know if that came out. But yeah, you obviously you've got the, the standard uh, smoke, steam, whatever you want to call it, carbonation stuff coming out of it. So, and yes, I am going to be sacrilege to use a Hofmeister Bavaria, but it is a Bavarian lager, so it sort of counts. Maybe. So let's give it a pour and see what it comes out like. Oh, that's going to be a bit too vigorous. I think Chris needs to calm your jets. Ah, oh, shit, I fucked it in there. Ah, oh, well, that's me not getting monetized anytime soon. But we'll just be, we'll give it a, a, a gentle tippy toppy two pour and. We'll let her settle and then we'll top her up. I don't know what this camera's doing, it's a new one, so bear with me. This is what I, I just I just love the you know the cloudiness of Erdring. I and I, I do. You know, you've got oh, let's just put that down. You know, you've got, you know, stacks of carbonation, you know, absolutely hazy cut, and it just looks like a proper beer. I mean, it's not as strong as the Hofmeister. I've just, not the Hofmeister, the, um, fuck me what they do, the hacker that I've just done. You know what I mean? So she is, it's a 500 milliliter, and what are you? What's your ABV? What is your ABV? If you do not want to tell me, I will kill you. It's 5.7. 5.7% ABV. Um, you know, and oh, I think it was... I'll be honest with you, I think it was under three quid. Um, I definitely paid more than three quid for the frigging uh, hacker. Where that were. 
but if you want it, you've got to pay for it. Um, and I refuse to, you know. Right, so we're here to talk about the Erdringer. So obviously Erdringer is not one of the big six, as I've already said, but uh, it's a very double ma maturity method. Um, I don't know what that is, and if you do, let me know in the comments. But, you know, there she is. She's tender, she's generally set. She's got a big, th big creamy head. Loads of flavour, loads of flavour, loads of aroma coming off that. You know, you've got the hoppiness, you've got the wheatiness. And it's, you know, it's not, you know, it's advertised as a lager, check. It's advertised as a lager. I'm not sure. I would say that's more of a wheat. Yeah, no, it's a wheat beer, sorry. So straight away, you've got, obviously, you've got the wheat, you know, you've, you've got the haziness of a wheat beer. Sorry, I thought it was a lager, apologies. Uh, you've got the haziness of a wheat beer. You know, stacks of carbonation, a big creamy head. So yeah, cheers peeps, let's have a let's have a sample. I'm sorry, it's sacrilege. If anyone from Erdring sees this, send me a glass and I wanna have this this issue, I've got her drink glasses, but send me a tankard. Mmm, oh dear. Oh dear. Mmm, right. Oh dear. Um, right, whoa, where do I go with this? Right, so initial taste of that, that was quite a metallic taste. Um, it's a bit of a shame, really. Uh, fuck it out. Dear me, right, come on. Let's try again. Where are we at with that? It's a funny one, I'm actually a bit surprised with that. That's actually giving me quite metallic taste. You know, which is quite surprising from the Erdring. I usually get quite a good... Oh dear, I'm quite disappointed with that. Yeah. Right. Wasn't what I was expecting, put it that way. Right, so what are you getting from it? You're getting a hoppiness, which is very mild. You're getting a wheat. The wheat's come through. But again, it's very mild. There's no big flavours there. I'm getting no big flavours. It's not like, a you know... A Frankie Royal or a standard Franken Fra Francis uh. Francis yeah that one you're not getting that you're getting what was could almost be described as even on the smell it's metallic it's funny it's weird now I did leave that out for a little bit to warm up a little bit so it's not come straight out of the fridge so I was expecting it to yeah because obviously you want to have a wheat beer about three, four degrees, four, five degrees, sorry. Maybe as high as eight. Um, it's not bad, but it's not, it's not going to, it's not going to blow you away. You know, it's, uh, it's very, how do I put this? I'm disappointed if I'm honest. And um, like I said, I like the other drink in a bottle, but. Well, the standard era, but I just thought I'd expect him more from this. So where we at? What are we getting? It's a funny one, this, like, because usually I can, like, I'll just come straight to the point, but... You've get, you're getting, you get, it's hot, you've got... It's, it, there's not a lot there, and it's quite disappointing that there's not a lot there. You know what I mean, you'd expect, I'd expect more of a, something more of a taste profile, but there's just nothing, there's something so metallic -y there that it just, it kills everything, you know, there's no real, I'm going to drink it, don't get me wrong, but it's not a fantastic drink, and I'm just really surprised that Erdringer have let that go. I might got a dodgy bottle, but for me, that's very, very disappointing. I mean, it's just all the way through the drink 
to the end is just a metallic taste, which just doesn't seem to sit with me quite well, right? I think there should be more there, to be honest, but yeah, that's, that's, that's a disappointment, that is. But, it's, you know, give it a go. You might be getting more than what I get. It's just uh, disappointing, disappointing. But, yeah, unfortunately, guys, it is what it is, isn't it? Um, not a big fan of that. Not a big fan. Like I say, all my reviews are real. I don't make it up. Um, yeah, not a big fan of that. Big letdown this year. Compared to that, compared to the the uh, hacker, to that is just night and day. But yeah, um, if you manage to get a bottle, you think different. Let me know in the comments. But not a big fan of that. And if you haven't subscribed, please make sure you do if you got this far in the video. But anyway, this is Chris in the captain's quarters. Quite disappointed by her drinking this year. But it is what it is. But as always, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And peace out. Catch you next one.